Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be uh, looking at me opening the collector's edition for Beyond Light. And uh, I did not get this from Bungie. Uh, this, I paid this with my own money. And honestly, for the amount that it is, I don't know whether or not I kind of regret getting it. Mostly because it... It's a little lackluster in my opinion uh i'll most likely do a comparison video of all the collector editions that bungie has done and the forsaken uh like collector's edition which i think was a gamestop exclusive which i have so if you guys don't know i've i have pretty much all the collector's editions for destiny like all of them destiny one uh taken king the forsaken plus destiny 2 vanilla shadow keep and now beyond light and right there you guys can like saw like a little like pause in my in my moment in that moment for me because i was expecting the bag to be a little bit bigger because honestly it's pretty small uh if you guys don't know the collector's edition for destiny 2 vanilla was massive it's a literally a messenger bag i have a comparison i made the comparison video and i most likely will do that video just if you're curious now i will say the bottle is pretty cool i probably would never use it like as a container to drink from just because i have an actual bottle for that <laughs> but it's interesting especially like if you i could see myself taking this to like conventions and whatnot to hold small stuff i wish the like i wish the straps were a little bit bigger so i could like hold it over my shoulder and right there they give us a note you guys can see my face a little uh yeah this is the first time i'm actually well technically this is not the first time i did po post a video of my twitch stream where i show like what is it the pre-shadow keep nerfs all the way back like it was a while ago so that was technically my first but this is probably a lot of people's first time seeing my face that's my face that's my spongebob shirt uh that is the booklet now this is the part where it breaks my heart a little because i was hoping we'd get a booklet like at all the other collector editions that we've gotten if you guys don't know pretty much every collector's edition has given us some sort of booklet aside from the forsaken one but again that was more of a gamestop exclusive and the booklet for this one was just a little bit disappointing in my opinion because the, sh the shadow keep one came with this really cool like metal box and this one didn't come with anything of the sort like i like for sure i would i wouldn't put this out in the open because it's just a little too fragile so i would just keep it in the in the bag uh we also get some cool things as you guys can see i'm not trying to break the seal because obviously i'm trying to be careful and that was pretty much it which is also was kind of like wow that was really it that's the velcro for the backpack which i do show in later uh the so the only reason why i'm like really kind of disappointed is because not only did we get a lot more in the shadow keep collector's edition and pretty much every other collector's edition but I feel like we, I paid less if I remember correctly, and we got a lot more in the Shadow Keep collection. Am I disappointed? Am I angry? Not really. Uh, I, I would say I'm a little bit more disappointed. Honestly, me, like if you ask me if they, if it came with the, the stranger statue, this would have been probably the best collector's edition, like by far. It's unfortunate that they didn't do that because I was really hoping to get that collect that uh, that statue. But once I found out, oh no, that's separate, and it's like 130. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. So just to just to let you guys know, like, yeah, Bungie, Bungie, like Destiny 2 is not its only like source of income. Eververse is not the only source of income for Bungie. They have the store. They have a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that's why I don't understand the concept of well, they need to make money. It's like, I mean, they do make money. They make a lot of money, my guy. Have you seen some of the shit that they sell in the store? It's ridiculous. So there is the Shard of Darkness, which is really fucking cool. Uh, I still think if they gave us the collector's edition with the, with the Stranger statue, it would have been really great. 
I absolutely, lutely love the shard. It's fucking heavy. Like, it's super heavy. I'm not gonna lie. And it has three settings, which is basically uh, the off mode and then the on mode where it's like just full on all li all lit. And then there's a breathing mode and then there's like a like a faster breathing mode. It's really cool. Uh, I think this is my second favorite, maybe third favorite. Actually, no, second favorite. It would no, 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 no. So this is okay. So from all my collector's edition, this is probably my third favorite object that we got in a collector's edition, because the first one has to be the ghost. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Destiny Vanilla Two or Destiny Vanilla Destiny One gave us an actual ghost. And when I say that, I mean like once you turn it on and you like move your hand. The ghost actually talks, but it's not a Dinklebot, or not, it's not a, it's not the ghost that we have now, it's Dinklebot. Old, old, legit Dinklebot. And if you guys don't know who Dinklebot is, look it up. Uh, there's a bunch of audio footage of him in the internet. Unfortunately, they re redid all his lines in Destiny 1, so unfortunate that we had to, you know, listen to, the, to that robot, because I don't... Me personally, I don't like our our ghost's voice. I like Dinklebot a lot more because that's how that's how he just sounded. He sounded cool instead of like our our like super like our char our ghost character has a bitch voice. Like I'm gonna be real with you, he has a bitch voice. And Dinklebot just was a dude was just a robot ghost. I don't know, man. That's such a weird concept to me that people didn't like his voice, but. As you guys can see, the patch goes right there. I probably would, wouldn't ever use it for that, but overall, I think the back's pretty cool. I just, like I said, a little smaller than what I thought. Uh, again, I'll probably make that video of me comparing all of the collector's editions. I would have to like edit it a bit here and there because it took a while, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Personally, I'm gonna keep the collector's edition. I was thinking about selling it on eBay or whatever, but uh i kind of want to keep it just because i've had i've had i have all the collector editions and yeah so let me know what you guys thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets and start in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and other than that i'll talk to you guys later